if you don't want to sacrifice for what you want what you want becomes a sacrifice exactly this is what is happening at simander education and we are proud to announce that one of our students have achieved the elijah watsells award typically this award is given to a student who scores 95.5 out of 100 across all four sections as an aggregate yes so my name is shripal jain i am one of the co-founders for simander education and today i am having one of our special student who have secured the elijah watsells award and this is fourth consecutive time simander have achieved this and we have been doing this since 3 years and today we have another yet another elijah watsells award with us whose name is sachin right so you might have seen that sachin sachin right so this is what we have our sachin tendulkar of simander education is here so sachin how is the feeling after passing a uh, cpa exam because passing a cpa exam itself is a big thing so you have scored almost 99 so i'll just tell before sachin talks 99 in far 99 in rec 97 in bc and 93 in audit so these are the scores of this champion sachin how's the feeling i think i can say like you can say sachin tendulkar played like nervous 99 but i am not nervous here i have played the consecutive innings here so yeah my name is sachin as you mentioned and i am more than honored to be here in hyderabad as you have invited me this has been a prestigious life moment for me and i am still consuming the fact i am been telling you i remember the time when i first texted you like these are my scores and you just recently called me and said you are amazing and you have scored the lifetime achievement so this was a proud feeling for me and my whole family and i think siman the family will also resonate with the same feelings as i am so aap roye the ya nahi roye the sachin i wanted to i wanted to cry sir but रोना आया नहीं मैं दो तीन इंस्टेंसेस हुए बट आई 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 वांट कि मुझे एक बार ढंग से रोना आए इस फीलिंग को अचीव करने के लिए <laughs> मेरे को वो मोमेंट मिल नहीं रहा है बट या आई रीज रियली एंजॉयड एंड सो द फीलिंग इन द आईज ऑफ माय पेरेंट्स माय वाइफ टू बी ऑब्वियसली एंड या सो इट्स इट्स अ ग्रेट फीलिंग तो नॉर्मली गाइज इफ आई डेल सी एग्जाम जो ये एलिजा वॉटसन अवॉर्ड है लाइक like, ओवरऑल एक से डेढ़ लाख लोग रिखते हैं वर्ल्ड में सो आउट ऑफ वन वन एंड हाफ लैक स्टूडेंट्स 40 से 50 लोगों को ही ये अवार्ड मिलता है ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड राइट उसमें से एक अवार्ड uh, सचिन को आया जो सचिन इज़ लाइक वर्किंग आल्सो विद बिग फोर एंड यू हैव नॉट कम फ्रॉम अ अकाउंटिंग बैकग्राउंड अ स्ट्रॉन्ग अकाउंटिंग बैकग्राउंड लाइक प्रीवियस एलिजा अवार्ड सच अवार्ड ऑफ सिमंदर सो एक चार्टर अकाउंटेंट थे एक सी ए ड्रॉप आउट थे तो हियर इज़ एन एग्जाम्पल हु इज़ नॉट इवन अ चार्टर अकाउंटेंट और अ सी ए बैकग्राउंड ही इज़ अ प्योर बी कॉम डिड एम कॉम विथ डेलॉयड नाउ एंड नाउ working along with a big four and then securing this scores are unbelievable so for that hats off sachin thank you super so much, congratulations sir. thank you sir okay so we will come with the questions and many of the students have asked me to kind of have a very detailed discussion with sachin on how he passed the cpa exam and what made him get that award so straight away starting with our first question sachin so my first question to sachin would be delhi ka ladka hai ye so let me start did you have any unconventional study habits or rituals that you found helpful in your journey to become a cpa topper i won't say unconventional i am a regular just a normal kind of guy i would like to just say this to the audience if i can do it i think you all can try to achieve this thing so i i am a morning person i used to work i used to study in the morning i wanted to give my fruitful hours to me first and then uh, work on the like work on my professional thing the which is the major commitment throughout my day so i gave one or two hours during the week and then uh, holidays and weekends i used to sit for 10 to 12 hours to give an efficient efficient study environment so that is how i planned it to 12 ghante weekend mein and every day one to one and a half hour so i hope you understand saturday sunday is 12 12 24 and then take a roughly one one and a half hour which comes to like 30 hours uh, i would say okay so second question from the student is right so how did you stay motivated throughout the entire cp exam journey because motivation aaj rehta hai padhai ke liye especially working professional ke liye to aaj padhte hain kal wapas they don't feel like studying so this is one big problem maine dekha bahut sare log simandar mein join bhi karte hain fir ek do mahine ke baad they lose the motivation then they finally quit also तो हम लोग मोटिवेशन कंसिस्टेंटली उनको मोटिवेट करते रहते हैं फोर एम सेशंस में ये वो बट आई वांट व्हाट वाज योर मोटिवेशन टू स्टे कंसिस्टेंट थ्रू आउट द प्रोसेस 
I wanted to have a prefix or a suffix added to my name and just that's the idea that keeps motivated me to have a professional degree to add something to my name to my family because no one has achieved that feat in my family so yeah that was a great motivation for me kya wohi motivation enough hai ya kuch aur bhi tha sachin matlab har din padhai karna subah uthke along with a job some practical things what you have done to ensure that motivated dekho थियोरेटिकल तो हाँ ठीक है एक इमोशन है इमोशन भी थोड़े टाइम के बाद इट गेट्स एब्जॉर्ब राइट यस तो ऐसा कौन सी चीज है मतलब देर इज समथिंग विच यू आर हाइडिंग विथ मी एटलीस्ट आई कैन से ऐसी कौन सी चीज है जो आपको मोटिवेट रख रही है मेरे मोटिवेशन के हिसाब से मुझे ये कोर्स करने के इसलिए अच्छा था कि इट्स अ रनॉन कोर्स एज यू ऑलरेडी मैंशन इट इट विल हेल्प मी ग्रो प्रोफेशनली बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट टू अचीव समथिंग इन बिगर इन माई लाइफ because we do generally do bcom mcom everything but this certification it's a huge prestigious i think one of the highest number of members are affiliated to this accounting and auditing degree right so okay. you would resonate with this with me so that was the motivation for me to have that charter on my name so i think two good reasons guys so one is definitely the prefix and suffix and second is knowing that this is one of the most important qualification and the respect which this qualification commands so the third question from the students uh, is uh, sachin what is your advice for those who struggle with the test anxiety how did you stay calm and perform at your best during the actual exam because kya hota hai exam se pehle bahut sare students ko nervousness ho jata hai upar se this is an international exam so cpa ka exam just for uh, audience information it's an online exam prometric test center mein ja ke ye exam dena padta hai jaise aapka gre hai gmat hai cat hai so cpa exams are also being given at the prometric test center so because it's not a physical exam and not a pen pencil exam and it's an online exam so nervousness to aur zyada rehti hai laptop pe kuch type vibe i mean computer pe kuch type idhar udhar kar do so how did you ensure to overcome that anxiety so as a working professional i have a habit of sitting for long hours so that helped me in some way <laughs> and secondly while doing the course while doing while studying we were studying for 12 12 hours 10 hours consistently वो सिटिंग टाइम देना दैट रियली हेल्प मी एंड दो सिमुलेटेड एग्जाम्स विच वी गिव तो एक सिटिंग में आप फोर आवर्स फोर एंड हाफ आवर्स डिवोट करते हो एंड दैट रियली लाइक एलिवेट्स द एनजाइटी विच वन में एक्सपीरियंस बट आई वुड रियली लाइक टू हाईलाइट वन पॉइंट सो फर्स्ट एग्जामिनेशन विच एनी वन गिवस वेदर इट्स ऑडिट फार रेगुलेशन और बी ई सी सो दैट विल बी द मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट सब्जेक्ट यू विल बी अपेयरिंग बिकॉज दिस इज द दिस इज द फर्स्ट टाइम यू विल बी गोइंग टू दैट एनवायरमेंट दैट सिटिंग एंड यू डोंट नो एनी थिंग अबाउट इट यू माइट जस्ट यू माइट जस्ट फुल फिल विथ एनजाइटी आफ्टर वन आवर यू विल रियलाइज कि हाँ मेरा एग्जाम चल रहा है और मुझे थोड़ा सा पैनिक नहीं करना है बिकॉज आई हैव आई हैव फेस दिस सिचुएशन कि फर्स्ट पेपर जब मैंने दिया था तो आई हिट द पैनिक बटन कि आपको थोड़ा सा एक दो एम सी क्यूज में आपको टाइम लग रहा है यू आर स्पेंडिंग मोर देन टू मिनट्स फॉर दैट the that question try to be peaceful and relax close your eyes for roughly 30 seconds if that is worth for you and try to uh, uh, get in the get in uh, get in again into the examination because that's how you have because those 4 hours are really crucial for your life because it is financially costly as well and you have devoted so much time and so you want to nail that examination so be confident and gain yourself put yourself together and then just start doing the examination yeah so i think these are very uh, crucial and wonderful tips right and the first very important tip to uh, overcome anxiety let me summarize what you have said is to kind of actually see how it you kind of perform in the mock test right so that simulated exams which are there in the backers software so try to solve that and see how it feels like and then kind of go into the final examination center and one very good point such in which you mentioned is if you are sir first exam ke liye rehta because you are writing for the very first time yeah so once you go to the exam center you normally it is very natural to feel nervous but second third exam you will not feel that because as you know cpa is only a four paper exam fourth question which comes from the students uh, is as a working professional how did you manage your time effectively this is one of the toughest question and one one of the many times asked question on linkedin as well sir so people have popped in this comment everywhere so how as a working professional you have achieved this fit i would like to say a few things in this context so for a working professional you have to be consistent you have to have those one hour session daily or uh, you have to utilize those uh, those extended holidays when you get like four days holiday then you take a couple of leaves and then you just have a nine days of block of holidays 
and then you can prepare for those nine days and push the syllabus to a different horizon right so that was my uh, policy when i applied for the uh, when i started studying for the cpa i utilized those small holidays and extended disconnects to get the long weekend study period time because we don't have a habit for uh, studying because we are working professional so you lose those habit eventually so you have to gain that as well so that is a con that is a challenge for a working professional so you have to utilize the uh the holidays to the maximum extent possible and you have to leverage 10 to 12 hours of sitting whatever works for you so that was my plan to achieve that i think this is a very important point is ek bhi holiday mile to khud ke liye mat you have to sacrifice yeah <laughs> so like i said my proverb right if you want to become you need to sacrifice what you want to become right so something like that so you need to sacrifice right and if you don't sacrifice so what do you want to become becomes a sacrifice <laughs> that that's hard to decode but yeah you can eventually pause and just click 5 second back and then you can figure out what sir just mentioned <laughs> so that's where i would say is to utilize each and every minute right and that would really count uh, as a working professional so that's a very very important study tip at, at least for the working professionals i would say so the fifth question uh, from the students is so how are you handling the multiple commitments so when i tell multiple commitments i, I know that you are committed already right so you have uh, uh, you are about to get married yes. right then you need to uh, spend some time with her you need to spend time with your parents you need to give time to your job you need to kind of then study and ghar pe bhi kuch kaam karna hoga so how are you how did you juggle among all of this so <laughs> that's a funny question but yeah it's it's very important by the way so you have multiple commitments throughout your life and you have work that takes most of the hours of your day then you have a family to look after then you have a obviously family to be to look after then you have to take care of your fitness as well so i i have to somewhat compromise on one of the stuff like i i compromise on my health not in a say ki i mai bilkul hi ekdam bimar pad gaya tha but yeah little yoga and everything i just skip those thing for a while because you have 8 to 9 hours to work and then you have to spend one or two hours only left with you that you can spend on either fitness or either uh, your studies so i took that opportunity to just divert my whole attention towards studies so and regarding the relationship part which sir just mentioned so you have to make a bold statement this is a make or break deal so you have to either say ki main cpa banunga to i will get to the next level or you can say like tab tak hold on karna padega so hopefully we will really understand and make some time for you and to your studies so guys you might be wondering how did you find out sir that he is committed so what was happening was when he posted on linkedin tagging me simandar he was successful so actually one of our ladies posted on her uh, uh, congratulations my love so i was just telling him that when you get married normally you will not get those comments so definitely i thought that is actually committed not married till now <laughs> okay so the next question from the student side is can you discuss the role of mindset and self belief in achieving top scores on the cpa exam how did you cultivate a mindset of success that's a really important question i would say because you have to you have to stay strong throughout this journey you will be you will be emotionally suffering from a lot of things because you are working and as a working professional there will be there will be certain scenarios running that will require priority and in 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 case of other commitment as well you have to uh, you have to have that bold mindset so when i took charge of this course and i wanted to achieve this i really had this one thing in mind i have to achieve it any any way possible so that mindset you have to you have to keep it consistent throughout but as a working professional the best part is you can get the examination done in one by one sections so that was one of my strategies by appearing for single paper at a time and focusing on one of the content totally rather than just focusing on multiple content so that is one thing uh, when you when you crack an examination that motivates you for the next level as well so when you know like you have cracked first paper and then you sit like i can do this i have my strategy has worked like whatever i have whatever i was doing because very first paper to be very honest sir you can't know whatever we are doing will be sufficient or not so when you get the score for the first paper you realize the our strategy is working right now right that's why people are asking what have you done what strategy did you apply so the first paper and the strategy which you apply you apply consistently if that has worked and if it is not working 
do reach out to people at simanda they are really really helpful to guide you and sripal sir himself will like he himself will get in touch with you if you want a one on one session thank you so much for your kind words uh, sachin so i mean that's a very good answer right so uh, it's very important to have a positive mindset and give one paper at a time because that's one good quality of cpa exam unlike the indian accounting exams where you have the prefix dates here in cpa you can select the date as per your convenience you can give exam any month you want so the west actually the western mindset is like they don't force you to write the exam on certain specified dates the students have the freedom to select which exam and which month they want to give so th- this is a very good question which is asked right so can you share an unexpected study habit or a study technique that you discovered along your cp exam journey that significantly improved your performance so there is no one such trick ki jo maine apply kari hai fir habit jo maine apply kari hai that has worked मतलब यू हैव टू फाइंड योर सेल्फ कि आपके लिए क्या बेस्ट वर्क कर रहा है क्योंकि आई हैव सीन सम पीपल वर्क वेरी गुड एट नाइट दे लाइक स्टडी फॉर लॉन्ग आवर्स एट द नाइट बट आई कैन डू दैट सो यू हैव टू फाइंड इट योर सेल्फ कि आपके लिए क्या बेस्ट वर्क कर रहा है बिकॉज आई एम अ मॉर्निंग पर्सन तो मैंने मॉर्निंग में फोकस करके अपना बेस्ट आवर्स जो होता है मैंने वहाँ पर दिया तो गिविंग योर बेस्ट टाइम टू योर सेल्फ विल बी द बेस्ट यू कैन से it's not a habit but it's best for your yourself so that kind of increases your productivity yes because the efficiency is best at the morning hour and you you know you sir sir himself conducts 4 am session so he can he can truly vouch for this point because if you study in the morning uh, then you get a different then you then you have a different approach and your mind is still open and you just woke up from good sleep and then you study then it's it's a great thing right next question which comes is how did you balance the different sections of the cp exam and ensure that you were adequately prepared for each one this is a question like approaching which section to go first right as i am from a audit background so i think that was one of the most advantageous or i am in a better position to take up that examination because i was familiar with the terminologies and everything how the practical aspect work this is like being from an audit background i i go for, i went for the audit paper first and then i started because i have a deep interest in accounting so second i took was far because i love accounting so much i have been a teacher as well in my graduation years so yeah <laughs> so next paper i took was bec because that's relatively easier and practical based fourth was the challenging one the regulations because it's us tax and we are not totally aware of like any bit about the us regulations so that was one of the fourth paper which i kept it at the last because i want to start with the easiest and the most comfortable paper first so you can also think of yourself as which paper suits your personality currently and you can just go for that paper first that will help you boost your confidence by clearing that paper because i think uh, in one of the orientation session of yours as well you have said this very confidently ki go for the paper that boost your confidence there are two strategies if if you you can hit for the hardest paper first a uh, clear it but now the th- because of the 36 months extension uh, 36 months expiry policy you don't have to worry about that ki aapko 18 months mein clear karna hai so you have ample amount of time you can choose whatever paper you want to go first to abhi 30 mahine ki jo policy hai wo abhi under uh, process hai but 36 months was the first january 2024 you mean to say where the next yeah. credits get extended to 30th june 2025 right and you did mention in your call kit your reg was very very different and surinder ma'am kind of helped you a lot so how how was uh, the role of a teacher or a mentor in uh, this journey of cpa as i mentioned already regulations was one of the uh, toughest paper which i think was for me because i have no clue regarding that paper because i haven't worked on that paper i have no knowledge because accounting is something you are aware and you have been doing that from 12th graduation and mcom but regulations was a different paper so i was scared totally scared i watched lectures and then i gained confidence when surinder ma'am said ki ye one of the easiest paper hai jo aap nikal sakte ho <laughs> then i said ki aisa kaise ho sakta hai i feel like it is one of the toughest paper then i watched her lectures and it really boosted my confidence i want to say here one more thing because i am a working professional so i didn't have much time to watch everything whatever simandar is providing to you but if you have time if you have bandwidth 
डू वॉच ऑल द लेक्चर्स डू वॉट एवर शिपाल सर और अदर फैकल्टी से बिकॉज दे आर द एक्सपर्ट्स यर राइट बिकॉज आई एम मेयरली जस्ट क्लियर एन एग्जामिनेशन विद अ गुड स्कोर दे हैव बीन इन द फील्ड फॉर अ लॉन्गर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम दे हैव सीन सो मेनी सक्सेस स्टोरीज फेलियर स्टोरीज दे नो वॉट टू बी डन वॉट इज टू बी अवॉइडेड डू टेक दोज एडवाइज वाइल कंसिडरिंग हाउ यू वॉन्ट टू अप्रोच द पेपर और एग्जामिनेशन इन फ्यूचर बट आई एम ट्रूली ग्रेटफुल फॉर सुरिंदर मैम और शिपाल सर बिकॉज आई रियली वॉच दिस ओरिएंटेशन लेक्चर्स एंड फर्स्ट यूनिट लेक्चर्स फॉर द फार एंड देन रियली गेन एन इनसाइट कि हाउ फार शुड बी अप्रोच्ड बिकॉज आई न्यू अकाउंटिंग इज अ गुड हैंड फॉर मी बट अप्रोचिंग अ पेपर इज डिफरेंट वेन यू नो लाइक इट्स नॉट अ नॉर्मल बी कॉम एग्जाम आप टेंथ ट्वेल्थ की एग्जाम देते हो यू नो कि आपको पेपर पेन पेपर मोड है आप उसको जाके लिख दोगे आपको जो आता है इट्स अ डिफरेंट थिंग सो यू हैव टू हैव दैट कॉन्फिडेंस की अप्रोच कैसे करनी है किसी चीज़ को एंड राइट वे ऑफ अप्रोचिंग इज गेटिंग गाइडेंस फ्रॉम द मोर इंसाइटफुल पीपल around you so please do get in touch with them and they will surely advise you thank you so much so suri is one of our favorite faculties of simander education so i hope suri is watching this a huge compliment right suri for you how would you describe your experience with simander education and cpa start right so there's evaluation and your camera masa delhi this is one of those experiences i would want students to understand so the first thing which i want to say which uh, made a difference in my simander's experiences when i received the study material after registering the course uh, there was a swami vivekanand's uh, booklet which has different sayings and excerpts which really guides you in your life journey so he himself wanted to share this to the student community who whosoever registers with the simander so th- when i read through it a few point i would i won't deny i haven't read it all but yeah if you read through one of the even even if you read through one of the pages then it will really motivate you and if you just look at that uh, for whenever you study and when you are whenever you are in a weaker spot during the whenever you face some emotional turbulence so it might guide you or help you out but you have to believe in everything right so that is one thing Uh, which i wanted to highlight so i think the welcome letter with swami yogananda's book of education for character which uh, simander kind of stand sends so he's also talking about my love letter which i sent to the students <laughs> where i give all the pointers of evaluations and all so i would want to say a great thing about simander is they provide start to end solution by start i mean it's not a normal exam while we do in india when you just register for something and then you just appear for the examination there is a tedious process so i will truly say this there are different sessions going on every day for the evaluation itself and that's a very tedious task trust me clearing the paper was one task and getting the evaluations done was a different task <laughs> i would i would just want to highlight one of the incident that happened in while my credit evaluation so i did my graduation from assam and that's from dibruga university so i had to get the transcript and the degree certificate in the sealed envelope that was the criteria which i need to get for the nies evaluation so i faced difficulty because they don't have a mechanism for the degree certificate in a sealed yeah. envelope but i got the transcript with the help of simander there was one person i would like to sh- call out her name here her name is selja if i'm pronouncing it correctly selja yeah she was in touch from start till end she even when i collected the document somehow i managed it i sent it to the evaluation agency thereafter they said we haven't received your degree it was a it was a moment like you prepare for something and then you get something like Missing you documents. are not even <laughs> yeah you're not even eligible to give examination exactly. so that's a big setback so i was really really anxious and i i texted shelja and she wrote a mail to director of nasba this is the step which shows simander goes out of the way to help you in your journey so this was one of the first experience where i realized ki simander is something different i'm not branding or marketing it here because that's a personal experience so that's what i'm sh- uh, that that is what i am sharing here to the wider crowd because it might help you in choosing the right tutor the right guidance the right platform to reach your success okay you can reach any way you want but if you get additional help so that really helps you right thirdly i would like to give my due regards to an unnamed character here that is not a real person telegram groups telegram groups it is a robust database of 
every query which has been asked and because i was a working professional i didn't have much time to go through the live sessions obviously you can understand this because if i have, if i have a weekend to plan and study i can't just wait for one of the one exactly. of the lectures so i have to watch multiple lectures during the day so i used to watch recorded lectures and then i used to do the whatever the work is to be done in the study material but this telegram group has saved me a lot of time in asking queries because when you just search and go through those that uh, control f wala yeah, telegram feature that that really gives you the answer and discussions of the greatest mind i think there are many people who have invested in this uh, it's whether it's faculty or student and now it is r- mostly run by students, students only completely so students so, student answer that yes so sir. it's a great database which simandhar has provided to me because i i haven't been in touch with the faculty in person or i would say in a live session so that that is one of my supplementary faculty which i was availing the benefit for so how did you stay organized and keep a track of your progress during the cp exam preparation i got a lot of questions in linkedin after the post uh, which went viral so one of the mistakes which i did i would like to tell you which you should avoid you should not go on reading or doing the all the lectures in one go and then starting with all the mcqs together then doing all the simulations because that's a very failed strategy in case of cp examination which i have felt what i did was i started with far lectures or i, I started to do one unit ke pure lectures kar lu ek sath ek hi sath mein you just over eats a con- like exactly. there are a lot of concepts important concepts which you content. need to st- you which you need to stress upon which you need to gain understanding but after you just go through lectures 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 you are not able to completely go through uh, completely understand the concept each of the con- you might fail to recall whatever was mentioned whatever important point was there so what is the right strategy here is you do you start with the lecture first you do whatever like shripal sir or other faculty that simander say or backer software whatever you want to refer to whatever works for you there is no plain uh, textbook strategy ki aap इसके रेफर इसके लेक्चर्स अच्छे हैं या फिर बैकर के अच्छे हैं या सिमांदर के अच्छे हैं तो आपको खुद ही आइडेंटिफाई करना होगा कि व्हाट वर्क्स बेस्ट फॉर यू सो देर विल बी अ मिक्स यू माइट फाइंड सम एरियाज़ कि जहाँ पे आपको लगे कि सिमांदर इज एक्सेप्शन जहाँ पे आपको लगे कि उनकी हेल्प की जरूरत पड़ सकती है देर माइट सम एरिया आपको लगे कि आप बैकर से रेफर कर सकते हो दैट इज़ टोटली अप टू यू बट यू हैव टू डिसाइड इट ऑन योर ओन सो वॉट आई डिड वॉज आई फर्स्ट वॉज लेक्चर्स and then i did the mcq so i never skipped any mcq and while approaching the mcq you have to be careful of the two things you have to uh, identify the answer before seeing the answer you read through the question carefully jaise aapne question padha aapke hisab se aapko pata chal gaya ki aapne answer bina dekhe aapne identify kar liya ki ha ye answer hona chahiye to uske baad jab aap आंसर ऑप्शंस को रिली रिवील करते हो ना तो आपको पता चलता है कि हाँ ये मेरे वाला सोचा था ये उससे रिलेट कर रहा है तो ये राइट right आंसर होगा एंड देन व्हेन यू गेट द आंसर राइट देन चेक फॉर द एक्सप्लेनेशन व्हाई डिड द आंसर वाज राइट बिकॉज गेटिंग आंसर राइट इज अ तुक्का भी लग सकता है यार मल्टीपल चॉइस एग्जाम यस सो इन दैट केस यू हैव टू केयरफुली रीड दो लाइन बिकॉज आई हैव मैंने जब फर्स्ट टाइम एम सी क्यू सॉल्व करे है ना मैंने क्वेश्चन सॉल्व करने के बाद आंसर्स की एक्सप्लेनेशन पढ़ने में टाइम स्पेंड करा है अगेन एन अंडरस्टैंडिंग की वाई द अदर थ्री आंसर्स आर नॉट करेक्ट एक्सैक्टली दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट गाइज टू फाइंड आउट बिकॉज बहुत बार क्या होता है एम सी क्यू सॉल्व करते हाँ आंसर करेक्ट है दे विल गो टू अनदर एम सी हाँ विदाउट इन्वेस्टिगेटिंग वॉट इज इट एंड देर आर वन मोर स्कूल ऑफ थॉट प्रोसेस राइट दो स्टूडेंट्स दिल सी आंसर फर्स्ट and then they will uh, solve their thing yeah that, that is can, known as reconciliation yes reconciling yes you yes not study jahan pe aapko nahi lage ki iska answer mujhe bilkul hi nahi pata chal raha so that was try they first see the answer haan. and then they try to solve ha so aap koi bhi answer approach karo to uske baad mcq ki explanation zarur dekho you spend you spend 2 to 3 minutes dhang se usme na ki aapko kahi rush nahi hai kyunki the content aapko jitna clear hoga na then you can keep the concept to yourself right because every time you process something when you see the lecture you gain an understanding of a concept when you approach an mcq you again gain an understanding of that same concept when you approach the simulation so i am coming back to the next thing uh, coming to the next thing is right you have to approach the simulations as well after giving the mcqs side by side because if you go through the mcqs mcqs uh, if you go through the simulations they cover 
इन डेप्थ एप्लीकेशन ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर कॉन्सेप्ट राइट सर बिकॉज एक कोई एरिया होगा जो आपने कहीं मतलब उसको बोला इतना बोर लग रहा है इसको क्या पढ़ूँ मैं जैसे आई आर एस का एक एग्जाम्पल है या फिर मान लो आप कोई भी एक ऐसी एरिया पकड़ लोगे जिसमें आपको लग रहा होगा कि इतना बोर है इसमें कैसे पढ़ सकता हूँ मैं एंड उसमें एक आपको एक पूरी सिमुलेशन आ रही है एग्जाम में दैट्स अ हैवी वेटेड थिंग यू कैन लूज ऑन दैट राइट सो सिमुलेशन को आपको साइड बाई साइड जैसे जैसे आप एक मॉड्यूल अप्रोच करते हो तो आपको साइड बाई साइड वो भी करना है तो वैन यू डू दैट दैट इज वॉट हैज़ वर्क फॉर मी यू माइट फाइंड अ डिफरेंट स्ट्रैटेजी दैट वर्क फॉर यू एंड आई थिंक इट्स इट्स वेरी सब्जेक्टिव थिंग बट आपको सारी चीज़ें ऑर्डरली तरीके से अप्रोच करो एंड देन आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग अ होल वन यूनिट सो देर आर मल्टीपल मॉड्यूल्स इन वन यूनिट्स सो यू गो थ्रू ऑल द मॉड्यूल्स इन वन यूनिट एम सी क्यू सिमुलेशन लेक्चर्स लेक्चर्स फर्स्ट एंड देन यू रीड थ्रू द बुक उस पूरी एक यूनिट को मतलब मेरी स्ट्रैटेजी ये थी कि मैंने उस पूरी एक यूनिट को फिर रीड करा एंड मैंने सेल्फ नोट बनाए दीज आर द टू थ्री थिंग्स विच माइट हेल्प यू इन गेनिंग एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग क्योंकि आप क्या कर रहे हो आप रिपीट कर रहे हो अंडरस्टैंडिंग को आप पहले एक लेक्चर्स देख रहे हो कॉन्सेप्ट समझे एम सी क्यूज करे कॉन्सेप्ट की एप्लीकेशन समझी फिर सिमुलेशन करे उसकी इन डेप्थ एप्लीकेशन और अच्छे से समझी फिर उसके बाद बुक को रीड करो कि इफ यू आर मिसिंग एनी पॉइंट यू आर गेटिंग कन्फ्यूज कहीं पे तो उसको आप क्लियर कर सकते हो दिस अ वेरी गुड स्ट्रैटेजी राइट डू लेक्चर राइट देन इमिडियटली सॉल्व एम सी क्यूज देन डू सिमुलेशन अप्लाई दो कॉन्सेप्ट राइट देन फाइनली आफ्टर द एंटायर यूनिट अगेन रीड थ्रू द बुक सो दैट यू सी दैट द कॉन्टेंट इज रेड थ्रू आउट देयर और नॉट and then prepare self note क्योंकि these are the key things क्योंकि क्योंकि आप self जब खुद से कोई चीज को prepare करते हो ना you know कि मुझे अपने words में कैसे लिखना है remember also yes if you write if you read you remember a concept very well अब आप सोचो एक ही चीज को आप layer by layer आप बढ़ा रहे हो you have a rock solid base for that particular concept and I believe if this strategy can work for me and it has worked for me do watch those skill masters videos as well simulations are really painful task to do so guys apart from similar faculty solving sims there are a lot of simulations which are there in the software itself and there's a video explanation for sims i think our software of becker right is the only software uh, which has all the videos of simulations if you go through other review codes providers they do not have a video explanation of simulations and that is very very important that every student should go through the video explanations and again when you have doubt like Sachin said our Telegram secondary faculty groups keeps answering those sims answers also. Yes, I have. Stuck. I have cle- I have uh, been able to solve one of the queries which popped me and it was bugging me कि ऐसा क्यों हो रहा है मेरा concept application fail हो रही है I remember some of the times की ऐसी चीज़ें क्यों हो रही है वहाँ पर कि मेरा concept जो मैंने study कर रहा है बुक से उससे match नहीं कर रहा but जब मैंने telegram group में search करके देखा तो I really found कि हाँ तेरा other point जो मैं miss कर रहा था तो there are discussions going on you can look after for the telegram group very, very good healthy discussions which yeah, kids the, i think you uh, motivate people by providing some incentive as yes. well in the telegram so group so i just disclose that guys so whoever answers the most in the telegram study groups typically get 8000 7000 to 8000 rupees so every month we give that prize to the one who answers the maximum so sachin that's a very good thing which i wanted and to I, disclose and i am thankful to all those people because i haven't contributed a single thing to the telegram group because of my busy schedule but i am really grateful to all those people who have made that repository or database that has that has really helped a lot of people i would say so finally how has your life changed since the result day i am sure your family must be elated so if you had to say something inspiring to our uh, community of cpas and accountants community as uh, what would be that i can say i am feeling like a celebrity now after clearing the cpa examination i was I was not too much into the limelight before because I haven't achieved so great of a thing in my careers before. So this was one of the prestigious moment or once in a lifetime moment for me. I wanted to cry, but I couldn't. But I want to cry someday probably, realizing that I have achieved this feat, and it's a big and huge thing, and you have to work really, really hard to achieve it. And if someone says that you can easily do it, or you can't do it, or it's a difficult course, so you have to focus on the most aspiring thing: that you have to do this course, and how do you want to achieve it, and what all you are about to sacrifice for it, what all are stakes for you. Because most of the time, what all you are about to sacrifice for it, what all are stakes for you. Because most of the time, what all you are about to sacrifice for it, what all are stakes for you. Because most of the time, what all you are about to sacrifice for it, what all are stakes for you. Because most of the time, what all you are about to sacrifice for it, what all are stakes for you. Because most of the time, what all you are about to sacrifice for it, what all are stakes for you. Because most of the time, what all you are about to sacrif
मतलब बिल्कुल दिल से मतलब मेरे को ये चाहिए था तो चाहिए था तो दैट वाज वन ऑफ द मोटिवेशन विच ड्रिवन मी टू अचीव दिस फीट एंड या विनिंग एन अलाइजा वॉट सेल्स अवॉर्ड विल बी आइसिंग ऑन द केक सर इट्स इट्स लाइक आई माइट गेट अ लॉर्ड ऑफ लॉर्ड ऑफ great opportunities in my career as well you can say like many people want to connect with me you can you can also relate like linkedin in linkedin also i think that is really important right one good line which i liked is mere ko karna hai matlab karna hai right i want to pass the exam i really need to pass so if you have passion right so you will never procrastinate you only procrastinate the things in which you are not interested right सो टुडे सचिन तेंडुलकर को बोलेंगे नहीं कि कल क्रिकेट खेलना है बिकॉज इट इज समथिंग विच ही नेचुरली डू वॉन्ट्स ट्रू या सो आई थिंक दैट्स वन गुड थिंग विच ही सेट इज अगर आपको करना है मतलब करना है बाई हु कैन ग्रू सो यू कॉन्ट गिव एक्सक्यूज राइट तब आप एक्सक्यूज को एलिमिनेट कर दो यार मेरा वर्क है मैं कैसे मैनेज करूँ तो आपको ये चीज़ें फिर आपको शेडो में रख के फिर आपको सोचना पड़ेगा जो है यही है और जो है इसी में कर पॉजिटिव थिंकिंग राइट ऐसा नहीं मेरे पास आज टाइम नहीं है मैं वर्किंग प्रेस डोंट सिंपथाइज योर सेल्फ एंड स्टे पॉजिटिव पॉजिटिव affirmations are very important and sachin have rightly pointed out and one more motivation sachin which i wanted to give to the students community is so as you know samandar education give ipad to the students who score 95.5 out of 100 and who gets the eligible awards as award we have given three ipads to matlab aaj chautha ipad hai to acha khasa budget ja raha hai samandar ka but this is somewhere the money keeps going out uh, i think this is the only moment where i felt that expenditure is an income for me in yes, accounting right yes. so normally expenditure is not an income but in this case i feel that expenditure is an income because this is something which the emotional feeling motivates yeah ha tum to bologe na tum to i mad nahi hai thank you so much guys for watching this podcast and i am sure that you will get inspired and motivated to do not just after this podcast बिकॉज दिस ये थोड़े लोगों की आदत है सुन के आ हाँ मज़ा आ गया फिर नेक्स्ट डे अगेन वैसे ही गधे जैसा मत पढ़ो सो प्लीज डोंट हैव दैट कंसिस्टेंसी इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लाइक सच इन सेट एवरी डे बी कंसिस्टेंट एंड स्टडी रेगुलरली एंड अंडरस्टैंड दैट अर्जुन के जैसा अपना गोल है कि एलिजा जीतना है मतलब जीतना है तो ज़्यादा मत जीतना नहीं तो पूरे आई खाली हो जाएंगे यहाँ पे थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग